Hey guys, this is the second update, I think, of the 3 horsepower Briggs. Today I went and bought some lapper sticks and some compound power plus valve grinding paste, force cutting, high finish. Grade 1, this end, for finishing. Whoop. Grade 2, this end, coarse, for grinding. Oh, I think I screwed up that one. So it's fine for finishing. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I got the lapis sticks and the, whatever you want to call them, valve lapis sticks shit. And I got the head from a lovely guy called Sea Change for Us. Uh, me and him only live about, or well, him and I, only live about two hours, three hours away from each other. So, you know, it's good we can... Uh, exchange things. He sent this to me for free. He just had it laying around and what do you know, it's the same colour. <gasps> oh my god! Um, so that fits on there like so. Um, I got the valves and took them down to my dad's. Rode my motorised bicycle. I'm running a uh, 20 to 1 on that right now. Um, I was in the running period and it was running on 16 to 1 and now I'm running 20 to 1 and it's running so much greater because LA it's quicker, and yeah. Anyway, back to um, what I was going to talk about. Shut up. And I, well you can't see it, it's blurry. Um, but anyway, they're shiny, if you could see. And uh, that's all shiny and nice. That's shiny. And yeah, all, all that is all shiny, oh you can see it. And same with the other one, this is the exhaust valve, as it's smaller. And, uh, oh, just heads up, the exhaust valve is smaller than the intake valve. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's one's all shiny, you just got it on the, um, you know, the grinding wheel where it has the, uh, wire brush thing, and did that. I was gonna just use a wire brush, but it turns out my wire brush is stuffed. It's crap, I gotta chuck it in the bin. And, uh, so now I'm going to lap the valves, and... Hopefully that turns out well. What I'm going to do is, because they're shiny now, I'm going to put permanent pen around there, permanent pen around the valve, and then I'll lap it with the grade 2, because it's the gritty stuff. And then what I'll do is take it out, wipe it off, wipe it off the valve. If there's any permanent pen left, then I'll keep on going. I'll keep on going until there's no permanent pen left. And then... Um, yeah, it should be good. And then I've got to get a file or a Dremel. I don't know if a file will work actually, because this would take forever with a file. And uh, shave the eyebrows on this. So what I'm going to do is shave it from there to there and to about there, and probably like two thousandths of an inch down, maybe. Uh, I'm not actually sure how many, how much, twenty thousandths or two thousandths. Wait, I think it's two thousandths of an inch. Maybe it's twenty thousand. Oh, I've got all my inches mixed up. Come on, I'm Aussie. We work in metric. I'm trying to learn all these imperial measurements, and it's pretty hard. So, due to the uh, awesomeness of video editing and filming, I will be back in about three seconds with all the valves lapped. And go! Alright, we're back, and I have lapped the valves, um, with this valve lapping compound, I, first, I did the exhaust valve first, and, um, I used the, first of all, I used the grade 2, which is the gritty sort of stuff, or coarse, and then I used, um, the grade 1, which is the end finish, like, it's like a fine one, it's like almost hardly any grit in it, um, and then for the intake valve, because I grinded it for so long with the grade 2, I didn't really want to grind it anymore with the grade 1. Um, silly me, put the valves back in. I'll take them out. And I'll show you the seats and all that. Um, originally, I was going to use permanent pen um, to put around the valve seats and the valves. And then once I wiped off the valve stuff, it would tell me like where the little black bits 
um, where it's not grinded, but that did not work as the pen and pen does not bond, it comes off, even though it's pen and pen it does not bond well, um, comes right off, it must just be because of the grease and stuff, I mean if you degrease this, then you might be able to do the pen and pen way, but um, I didn't have any degreaser, so I wasn't going to worry about it. Uh, okay, that's... Shouldn't really bother showing you this, because it's all blurry. But, it's shiny all the way around. The seats... Uh, can, uh, can sort of see them, they're all shiny. And, uh, no discoloured bits at all on them, they're shiny all the way around which is good and they seat really really well now um, so yeah basically you just whack the valve in obviously put on TDC if you don't know what TDC means it means top dead center what top dead center means is when both valves are closed now the um, so when it's on its compression stroke and it's exploding the fuel it's top dead center so if you've ever heard TDC now you know what it means so you get this little well first of all we put lapping compound around that gritty stuff and then you put this little plunger stick on which is called the lapper and you just basically turn it like that but with both hands obviously I, I couldn't holding hands with them so you just go like that make the valve turn and then do it do that for about five minutes, maybe ten minutes, and then take it off, wipe all the stuff out if it's still not good. I mean, it should be good after five minutes. And then, yeah, then your valves are lapped and they're seated really, really well. I think this is going to be very good compression. Before, there was so much carbon on the actual seat that when you look closely at the exhaust valve, you could actually see an opening. That's how bad it was. So this person who had this must have had no compression at all, which is probably why he dismantled it. I mean, like this is what it was normally. Uh, it's about like like that, probably like that. It was open quite a lot, three thousandths of an inch. It was open, which is not good.